Puerto Rico is in the middle of a humanitarian disaster. Millions of Hurricane Maria victims are struggling for basic needs. Many have no food, no water, no fuel, and no electricity. The power alone could take months to restore. In a series of tweets last night, President Trump said the U.S. Commonwealth's old electrical grid was devastated. But he also mentioned the Puerto Rican government's longstanding financial troubles. Mr. Trump said it owed billions of dollars to Wall Street and banks, which sadly must be dealt with. David Begno has been in Puerto Rico throughout this crisis. He's in San Juan right now. David, good morning. Good morning. It's been six days since this hurricane made landfall, and people in some of the hardest hit areas are still waiting on food, water that they can drink. The power's out. The communication grid is severely disabled across the island. Rescues are ongoing this morning. People in some of the hardest hit areas have not been able to communicate with anyone since Maria made landfall. Emergency supplies are arriving slowly from the U.S. mainland to help millions of people still struggling across this island. FEMA Administrator Brock Long. We've got a lot of work to do. It's the worst hurricane that Puerto Rico has seen. Puerto Rico's Governor Ricardo Roseo traveled with the National Guard to deliver a satellite phone to the mayor of San Sebastian. Satellite phones are critical in allowing senior government officials to communicate with local leaders in some of the hardest hit areas. Two Category 5 hurricanes passing uh, through an island is unprecedented, and therefore uh, the response needs to be unprecedented. Only a handful of flights are trickling out of Puerto Rico's main airport in San Juan. My mother needs dialysis. We've been here 26 hours. Within the last 24 hours, desperate travelers crowded the ticket counters, hoping to get on one of the few flights to the U.S. mainland. We told the governor about the dire conditions we witnessed. Why can't food and water be sent there right now? I mean, there are babies who are naked in strollers. Their parents are fanning them. Because of your reporting that I saw last night, I ordered food and snacks to be delivered to the airports. Okay, well. I hear you, but it's not getting to them. I understand, and, and that's yeah. why uh, immediately I'm taking action, and I will, as soon as we finish the interview, make sure that water Got is it. on its way and, and food is on Got its it. way. Yes. Thank you. He kept his word. Food and snacks arrived within an hour. The governor now worries about the lasting effects if Washington doesn't pass a financial aid package soon. Humanitarian crisis will come to the United States in the form of the 3.5 million U.S. citizens that live here. And what you're about to see is a massive exodus of Puerto Ricans into the mainland. That's going to be a problem for us. It's going to be a problem for mainland as well. Puerto Rico's governor has complimented the work that FEMA's doing, and FEMA's complimented the governor. They both complimented President Trump. But we've asked, where is it happening? Allow us to get video of it. Let us show the American people that their loved ones are receiving the aid that has been promised. We asked the governor, will you take us there and let us get video? He guaranteed us that he would. We'll hold him to it. Gail. Yes, we all want to see that. Thank you very much, David Begno, reporting from Puerto Rico.